Scenes from Murphy Fieldhouse, runners trying to qualify for the team that will represent Fort Meade at this year's Army 10 Miler in October. Hello and welcome to Meade Week. I'm Brian Spann. We'll let you know who made the team on our next show. Meanwhile, this week, some great vintage video of Fort Meade going back to 1918. We'll look back at this year's Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Observance. And the Army's birthday is coming up. These stories and more, but first, a reminder from MWR, the Fort George G. Meade 100th Anniversary Gala is coming up Saturday, June 17th from 6.30 to midnight at Club Meade. A full lineup of entertainment is scheduled, including performances by the United States Army Field Band, the USO Show Troop, and the Four Strings. Hors d'oeuvres and desserts are being catered by Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. There is limited free child care for those registered at Child, Youth, and School Services. That will be on a first-come, first-served basis. Tickets are available at Club Mead or online at www.me.armymwr.com. All proceeds benefit the Fort Meade community. We'll have full coverage of the event on our next show. Meanwhile, the gala is celebrating Fort Meade's 100th year. Fort Meade then Camp Meade was authorized by an act of Congress in May 1917. It was built to train troops preparing to go to war in Central Europe. We found some U.S. National Archive footage of then Camp Meade from 1918 or 1919. In this video, weapons trading, soldiers rolling up packs and doing drills. More than 400,000 soldiers passed through Camp Meade on their way to Europe. The Camp Meade location was chosen in part because of its proximity to railroad lines and ports. Here, a thousand newly trained recruits board a ship bound for the war in Europe. We'll have more archived Fort Meade footage in the next Meade Week. Staying with the historical theme, this year's Army birthday commemorates the 100th anniversary of World War I, a war as you now know in which Fort Meade played a significant role. Chief of Staff of the Army General Mark Milley and the Sergeant Major of the Army Daniel Daly send this message celebrating the Army's 242nd birthday and the 100th anniversary of World War I. Happy birthday, America's Army. I'm here with Sergeant Major of the Army, Dan Daly, and we're honored to lead our Army as we celebrate our 242nd birthday on 14 June. As we pause to look back on our long and storied history, we pay special tribute to the World War I soldier. America entered the Great War 100 years ago and built the foundation of the modern army we serve in today. The technological advances implemented during that war include the use of mechanized vehicles, machine guns, rapid fire artillery, aircraft and even plastic surgery and blood transfusions, all of which we still use today. This year's theme for our birthday is over there a celebration of the World War I soldier. And that expresses our appreciation for the more than four million Americans who served in the uniform of the United States Army during the Great War. As we celebrate the World War I soldier, we do so knowing that more than 185,000 soldiers today are committed around the world in 140 countries. All of you, each and every one wearing the uniform today of an American soldier, is carrying on the legacy of the soldiers who came before you. You truly are helping make the world a safer place today. And both Sergeant Major and I thank you for your service. Happy birthday, U.S. Army. Army strong. Locally, Fort Meade's observance of the Army birthday begins with its annual breakfast. It's coming up June 14th. That's Wednesday at 7 o'clock at the Burba Lake Cottage. Maryland Congressman John Sarbanes is expected to be the guest speaker. For ticket information, you can call 410-905-6393. Finally, this week, we take a look back at this year's Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month observance. This year's guest speaker was Jennifer A. Lee, a journalist, film producer, and president of the Plimpton Literary Studio. She's written extensively on the spread of Chinese food throughout the world, and her passion was on display. I realized after um, like deep reflection that it's really a story kind of about my own identity in America, right? And um, you know, part of it is like General Tso's chicken. So General Tso's chicken, it looks exotic, but it's actually indigenous to the United States, right? It's not a dish that is really recognized in China. Uh, Americans love it. It's sort of, it's sort of, you know, in some ways, as American and more American than apple pie, given how frequently one might eat um, General Tso's chicken. And it, in a way, that's sort of just like, you know, me. Like, you look at me and I, I kind of look foreign or exotic. And, uh, you know, which can be useful if you don't want to talk to people. You're like, oh, oh, oh no speak English. <laughs> 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 right? <laughs> but, but, <laughs> but if you were to literally close your eyes and just, like, listen to his entire speech, you would have no doubt that the person who is giving it is from America. And so in that way, like, I am a version of General Tso's chicken. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.